Hey everyone, uh, welcome to Talent Battle. So here we are again to give you a very important update, one very important off-campus update, I would say. So Salesforce is hiring 2024 batch students, this time for the full-time role. Okay, so last time when Salesforce was hiring 2024 batch, it was for the internship role. So as you can check, uh, this is our Instagram page for the 2024 batch students. So we had updated about the Salesforce hiring opportunity for 2024 batch, but uh, previously it was for the internship role. And now they are hiring for the full-time role. Okay. So in this video, I'm going to give you details about this particular opportunity, how to apply. And if you have got any particular query, you can comment on this particular video as well. Okay. So first, let me show uh, where we found out this opportunity. So we are on the official website of Salesforce. Uh, later on, guys, uh, you can check the exact application link in the description of the video. Currently, just check uh, how we found out. So I'll just click on search jobs. So this will take you to the job searching portal of Salesforce here country. First, I will select India. So here you can check software engineering AMTS. Now, what is this basically AMTS? So AMTS is nothing but associate member of technical staff. So basically it is, you can say a name of the post, which uh, Salesforce has decided basically. So uh, you can read about AMTS also over here. Okay. So uh, what they're, this is the page basically wherein uh, they are helping you to understand what are the various opportunities with Salesforce and under that they have given the details about AMTS. So first step for this particular shortlisting is going to be resume shortlisting. So just you can check following a resume review, our interview process begins with hacker rank assessment to test basic understanding of computer science fundamentals and coding. So if you want to take a practice test, you can click here. If you pass the hacker rank, then your resume will be shared with the engineering team. And if you match with the team, then they will give you uh, basically opportunity for the interview, which will be about 60 minutes. Okay. If you, uh, if you are successful, you'll be invited for the on-site interview. That means they will call you at the office and uh, there can be again a technical interview or maybe a personal interview. They are going to basically cover topics like CS fundamentals, database, data structure algorithms, and more. Okay, so this is a rough idea what they have given about the hiring process for this particular opportunity that is software engineering AMTS. You can also check about uh, this particular uh, details also, but most of the uh, time first there will be resume shortlisting and then there will be a coding assessment on hacker rank. So now let us go into details about this particular opportunity. So I'll click here. Uh, let me go in detail up for that particular page. Yes, so software engineering AMTS. So the locations are going to be Hyderabad and Bangalore. This opportunity is just posted two days ago and it is a full-time opportunity is not a internship opportunity. Okay. Let me just go down to, uh, eligibility criteria. Okay. So B B tech students graduating in 2024 in computer science, electrical electronics or equivalent fields with specialization in computer science. So basically guys, these branch students can apply. And uh, like you are, if you are from electronics and telecommunication, then also you can apply for this particular opportunity. You need to have seven CGPA and above with no backlogs. So that is, this is the eligibility criteria for this particular opportunity. Okay. Now let me just move up. Okay. So this is about uh, future force university recruiting. So they are hiring students from the university basically. So that's why they have given some details about it. So the future force university recruiting program is dedicated to basically attracting, retaining and cultivating talent. So uh, new graduates, interns work on real life projects and they will basically contribute to a lot of businesses in Salesforce. Okay. What is the job category? It is software engineering. Okay. Details about Salesforce you can read. Now check the uh, key responsibilities. So architect, design, implement, test and deliver highly scalable products. Uh, you have to master their development process, uh, culture code and code base and then improve it. So it is going to be a core coding job. Okay. Next, what are the desired skills? Strong analytical and problem solving skills. You should be a team player. You should have that ability to work in a team. Be a self-starter and possess strong sense of self-motivation. 
and experience using telemetry and metrics to drive operational excellence. So basically, the most of these are soft skills they are trying to tell. But basically, they are going to expect you to have good coding skills. So as we checked over here, they are going to uh, expect knowledge of these uh, concepts. Okay. So uh, this is the detail. Uh, now let us just uh, try to apply for this. I'll click on apply. I'll do apply manually. So first you have to create your account. Okay. So if you don't have an account created, if you already have, then you can sign in using your account. So after you sign in, uh, they are asking, how did you hear about us? So you can just, uh, so you can just put Salesforce as well. Okay. You can put any option. Have you previously worked for Salesforce as an employee contractor? This will be no. Okay. So here you have to enter your given name, family name. That is your first name, last name. Here you have to enter your address. Okay. Then your mobile number, and then you can click on save and continue. Okay. Once you click on save and continue, so you have to enter the work history if you have got any. So for example, if you have done any internship, you can add, but it is optional. So now we have to enter the educational details, but uh, last time also there was one particular issue with the Salesforce job application or the internship application form. Basically in the degree section, they are not giving B, B Tech. But if you check uh, in the eligibility criteria, they have mentioned B, B Tech. Okay. Now the thing is like what option to select. So I think the best option over here would be to select Bachelor of Science. Okay. And you have to enter your branch. So branch would be computer engineering, electrical engineering or electronics engineering because no other option would be basically suitable for you to enter apart from BS. Okay. Because they have not provided here with any other option. Okay. Uh, here you have to enter your result CGPA or GPA and this would be from and to. So if you are a 2024 batch student, this would be 2020 and this would be 2024. Okay. Next, you have to attach your resume and if you have got any LinkedIn profile properly updated, then put that particular LinkedIn profile link, click on save and continue. Now uh, here they are asking us what is your preferred geographic location? Okay. So I think they are uh, hiring for two uh, locations, Hyderabad and Bangalore. So enter only one of these particularly. Because uh, if they are already telling us that uh, they have openings at Hyderabad and Bangalore, and if you're entering something like Pune, Mumbai, something, then the, it would be of no sense. So make sure you enter either Hyderabad or Bangalore. Okay. Do you have the unrestricted right to work in the country to which you are applying? Yes. Will you now or could you in future require sponsorship to obtain work authorization? This would be no. So they're asking, are you a citizen of national or resident of any of the following countries? This would be no. Regarding future position of server, please select one of the following option. So you can say, yes, I would like to receive communications about Salesforce because uh, they will keep you updated and you can click on save and continue. Okay. Next, what is the name of your university? So again, they are asking here, uh, the name of the university. So you can enter your name of the university current school location. So your current, uh, college location here, you need to, uh, select bachelors. Yes. So now they are here, they are asking us what degree you are studying. So basically in the previous uh, section in over here in experience education details, there was no BEB tech option, but now here, what level of education you will be completing. So you can either here enter bachelor of engineering. So guys, uh, since they have not provided any drop down, make sure you enter it in full form and then you can mention it like this. Okay. BE. Or similarly for BTEC also, Bachelor of Technology and then BTEC. Okay, so that it will be clear. What is the major? So this is your branch which they are asking about. So I'll enter the complete branch, Computer Engineering, Electronics Engineering properly. What is the uh, anticipated date of graduation? So it would be in 2024. So either it can be in May, June. So appropriately you can enter over here. Okay, so I'll enter roughly some date. Our future force roles are offered in locations listed below. Please provide three location references, uh, reference on the job description. One being your top choice. So here it will be 
okay so they are giving a mumbai option as well so i'll select bangalore hyderabad and mumbai okay will you require work visa sponsorship for this role that would be again no for australia and new zealand are you a citizen or permanent either of the country this is no please select which of the following asian languages you have business working proficiency none of the above okay please select which of the following asian languages are you native in none of the above have you attended a sales force or future force event within last 2 years this would be no so you here you have to enter your technical skills and certifications whatever you have obtained here what attracted you to apply for sales force so you have to tell why you want to join sales force you can mention about the good things at sales force maybe which you have uh, listened from your seniors or maybe on social media influencers so you have to mention that answer over here what attracted you to apply for this role so you have to mention in detail why you are applying for this role so you can mention your interest in basically software engineering coding data structure algorithms and that's why you are applying any current or prior experience so here if you have got internship experience you can mention do you intend to enroll in a post graduate degree following the completion of this internship so this is not an internship basically this is a full time role but still they are asking whether you want to enroll for any post graduate degree so my personal opinion would be to answer this no okay or uh, maybe or uh, you can select maybe but most probably this would be no because they want students to join salesforce and not leave salesforce and go for a post graduate degree but again it depends on you this is uh, uh, going to be a, like a personal choice okay so you can either go for yes if you want to be honest or no or maybe okay so then click on save and continue once you click on save and continue they will ask this particular uh, your gender okay then you have to accept your terms and conditions okay and then you can save and continue again then you can review all your information which you have entered and click on submit so in this way guys basically you can apply for this particular opportunity once you click on submit you will basically uh, get congratulations your application has been successfully submitted and you can see your applications over here okay so guys uh, apply for this opportunity as soon as possible because link can expire any time if they get thousands of applications if you are a 2024 batch student 2025 batch student and if you want to prepare for placements guys you can join our complete placement preparation master class this particular master class has everything required for placements okay so right from uh, learning quant reasoning verbal ability from basic to advanced learning programming and data structure algorithms from basic to advanced in all four languages like c c++ java python if you want to learn database management systems operating systems computer networks if you want to do projects do company specific preparation for 30 plus companies if you want to learn full stack development everything is included along with extra projects mock interviews are conducted one to one virtually for each and every students who is joining master class so there are a lot of features i have included the link for this particular course in the description of this particular video you can also go through the syllabus brochure in that you will get everything all details about this particular course as well you can apply the coupon code new batch to get more discount uh, on the price which you are currently seeing on the screen so guys uh, any other query you can just uh, make sure that you comment on this video or get in touch with us also follow our instagram page guys here we update a lot of opportunities every time we get to know any particular opportunity already 30000 plus students from 2024 batch are following this particular page So thank you once again uh, for watching this particular video make sure you like subscribe and press the bell icon and motivate us to make more such videos thank you see you all in the next video